So here we're showing Dallas-Fort Worth area growing from 1984 to present day. And as we loop back to 1984, you'll see a lot of farmland up here where the suburbs expand out. Now if we go to the next, uh, the next frame, we'll see the same view now using lights at night and we're seeing a compilation of 25 years of lights at night. And in red, this ring around here, is the place where Dallas-Fort Worth got brighter. So it's a place where Dallas-Fort Worth was growing. Now let's zoom out to the whole US. And what you're gonna see here in the US are like these red rings around each of the cities that are growing. So for example, Atlanta, Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston, Phoenix. Let's compare that to China. So let's go across the planet and take a look at Shanghai. So Shanghai in 1984 was relatively compact, about 8 million people. And by the time we get to present day, you can't see where Shanghai ends. So back to 1984, you see all these separate cities. And by 1984, or by present day, I should say, they've all combined. Now let's look at that with lights at night. And you see a very different story. You see a little bit of a green core, but everything's red. And let's zoom out to the rest of China now. In China, what we see is this rapid urbanization, industrialization, electrification, lots of population moving to the, uh, to the coasts. And you see not just these red rings, but you see entire areas along the eastern seaboard turn red. Now you can compare that yeah, compared to the United States, where again, you see a lot of places where it just stayed the same, especially up in the northeast. It's a much less pronounced effect than what we see in China today.